Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have It's a Hoffman Thing versus Kiki07, and this is going to be a post Photon Hypernova replay, and let's go ahead and hop right in. We are going to see Kiwi07 when the Rock Paper Scissors shoot go first, 41 versus 41. Opening hands, we got Tier Limit Cash, Tira, Big Bang, Orange Light, Merly, Havnas. So we have Tier Limit Cash, and then they have Magma, Branded Lost, Branded Fusion, Beast, and Mercarier. Okay! Let's go. I'm so excited to see this matchup, actually. Okay, so they're going to go main phase, activate Lost, activate Fusion. That's so crazy. And then they're going to go Dump, uh, Dump Mercarier, Fallen of Albaz, bring out Lindworm, and then Branded Lost Effect, go Search. So it's going to go ahead and grab from the deck to the hand a Blazing Cartesia, and then Magma Effect to go Banish Mercarier, and then we're going to get Magma and Mercarier Effect, Magma 1, Mercarier 2, so go ahead and search, grab Albion Shrouded Dragon, and the thing is, like, this hand does have double Havness in it. Um, they have Havness, and they have Havness number two. Summon Blazing Cartesia, and then they're going to activate the effect of it, Chain Havness, yes, Chain Havness. I mean, I guess technically they could just Mercarrier that if they wanted to. Mill 3, Mill Shaylin, Murley, and then new Chain Link, we're going to summon Grand Chain Link 1 to go dump, Shaylin 2, Murley 3 can't oh that's true that is true that we can't use any of that there that makes so much sense why they wouldn't have stopped that at all then i yeah i, I forgot about that interaction chain link one fusion chain link two happiness because it's blazing cartesia um uh I, something i want to bring up here too um is let's say there because this, this would never happen but let's say there was a world where happiness is chain link one and blazing cartesia is chain link two then you would be able to activate your effects because this is a one effect. So the fusion like needs to be chain link one, like branded fusion chain link one, blazing Cartesia chain link one. Like if blazing is chain link two or three, then lost will not impact the no effect. I just feel like I should bring that up so that way you guys know that if you didn't already. They're gonna dump Albion off the of grand and then activate Albion. Uh, so they have to dump for cost. Dump opening. And they're going to banish Shaylin, summon out Tier Limit, Cash Tira. They draw Brandon in red. And then new Chain Link, Tier Limit, Cash Tira effect, mill 3, mill Shaylin, activate Shaylin effect. Sure, put back Shaylin, Murley, summon Kikalos, activate Kikalos effect. Chain Link 2 effect, so that's going to negate it, and then return. And then, hold on. Um... If a monster is supposed to show by an opponent's effect. Okay. So, yeah, that tags out into Proskidion. That will negate and bounce kit. Set branded in red. Set beast. I don't think they realized that was going to happen. End phase. Albion effect. This is a really good end board. Um, we have Retribution interruption. We have branded in red interruption. You know... Uh, then we have Branded Beast, um, we have Mercarier, Proskidion, Negate Bounds, um, End Phase, we're gonna get Blazing Effect to add back, and then go search Baldrake, Pass, okay, and then they draw Kelbeck, okay, that works with Orange Light. Uh, normal summon Murley, Murley effect, mill 3, mill Papaya, Solik, Metanoise, Solik, chain link 1, um, no Metanoise effect, we don't have anything else in our graveyard, so go search for tier limit, cash tier, this can banish any tier card if we want, or any cash card, link in the dark charmer, dark charmer effect, go take Fallen of Alabaz, chain to try to negate, also there was a discussion I was watching in the stream the other day, it was a stream I shouted out of Kenny's on Twitch, and they were talking about uh, Dominic Couch at one point was talking about how he thinks Dark Charmer is one of the best Link monsters that ever came out. And I gotta say, I, I kind of agree with that. This card is broken. This card has been broken its entire... This card was more broken before. And then, like, with, with when DPE Anaconda was a thing, Dark was the best extra deck card. It was better than Anaconda because it was the out to Anaconda. And you knew your opponent was going through Anaconda. And then, um... Uh, and then Dark got really, really good again when Spring came out. 
and obviously it was good when you were playing tier limit sprite and you played against sprite or something like that. I don't know, this card's just so good. Uh, but they're going to Mercarier, the Orange Light, Bounce, the Dark with the Linworm, New Chain Link. Now we're going to activate Kelbeck Effect, Mill 5. They Mill Shailin, Keldo, Rhino, um, they Mill Alibur, Sornir, Brandon White, Dramaturge, Valiant. So they actually had a bunch of good hits. Shailin, Rhino, and then they're going to chain Retribution to bounce back and negate Rhino. And then go ahead put back and retribution because can also be follow up but they can go ahead and spin it back because you can only use one effect of it so they can't like you know they use the effect to try to spin this they can't chain it and also you can just wait until they activate this but Kaleido target Proskideon and then they're going to chain Brandon Red target Fallen of Albaz chain Keldo to try to go ahead and put back Fallen of Albaz Aluber and Papayas okay and then tier limit cast here because they're gonna try to summon mirror jade there summon out and then effect to mill okay uh, now link off go on the sprint sprint effect to go dump they do have to remember that the opponent does have a ball drake in hand dump merly merly effect chain ball drake special summon banish battle phase uh try to attack over but during main phase we're going to use the effect to out sprint so they are still going to attack us we're going to take 3k and then past turn they draw opening okay and that's just i mean they have they have keldo so they have one interruption and the opponent has retribution to attempt to add back um and that will have to be stopped and then they also i was going to say they also just drew opening and opening will be able to get them game anyways uh but they could have started with retribution to try to add back branded fusion or something because then the opponent is almost guaranteed to keldo interrupt that and then you just opening and now you play with zero interruption where now there is still interruption but i guess it doesn't matter because like you just win anyways go dump bring out albion albion one lost two go search do they play three more carrier there's no way most people i've seen uh have been playing one or two Banish, summon Lubelion, and then we're going to activate Lubelion effect um, and Dramaturge effect. So this will go ahead and summon itself out. But if you read it, hold on. A discard in your hand or field is used as a fusion material and sent to the graveyard or banished. It has to be in the hand or field. So you won't be able to get it off an Albion banish there. Lubelion put itself in Fallen of Albaz back, summon Mirror Jade. Uh, on summon of mirror jade effect go banish that way they can't chain anything in response and then battle phase attack for game on the game two now tier limit cash tier will go first we have rhino shaylin rhino rise heart birth they have branded fusion mercarier ball drake beast and sphere mode activate shaylin effect discard rhino summon mill three mill merly kelbeck merly one kelbeck two force mill five uh that doesn't mill any cash tiers though and then they're gonna go ahead put back merly havness summon out kikalos now new chain link activate kikalis effect go search for tier limit cash tira and then they're gonna go kikalis effect tag out summon out rhino new chain link kit rhino they're gonna chain ball drake on kit chain medora to now go ahead and put back kikalis talons and then they're blazing cartesia okay um i guess putting back talents is like okay but like yeah it just like makes your mills a little bit worse maybe you could have gone after aliber uh, and they mill two Keldo there. And then dump Shaylin. Not using Shaylin effect on the new chain link. Activate two limit cash Tira. Banish the Shaylin. Special summon out. And then activate effect to mill three. Mill scream, haveness, scream effect, and haveness effect. So we're going to put back haveness and rhino. Summon out Kikalos. Uh, scream, go search Solik. Link off in the dark, dark effect to go take, take magma, magma effects search during end phase. I think not, they don't play anything, okay. Go on the sprint, sprint effect to go dump, dump Merly, Merly effect. They said already used, used Merly. Yeah. The last name was Shaylin. Right? Had to be, yeah, last name has to be Shaylin, 100%. When you summon kit first time. Yeah, so they're just going to take this back. Um, if you're testing, this is what you're supposed to do. Um, 
like if you're full 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 testing this is what you do because otherwise if you force your opponent to make sprint and dump there you may as well just go into the next game because that's just not a real game anymore Merely not going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, overlay, make a Bistoweller, and then activate Rise Heart, summon out, effect, go banish. You know, we have this. We can special banish Unicorn, make him banish three, overlay, and then summon out Shangri La, activate birth, effect, summon out Unicorn, and then Unicorn effect. Also, something else I wanted to bring up is um, if you are playing Tier Limit, um, you cannot use Tier Limit Cash Tira ever when you're making Kaleido because it is a psychic and not an aqua that's something that like i just keep forgetting because like it's a tier so like you should be able to use it to make Kaleido, but you just can't so you gotta you gotta remember that it's actually like a really big difference people will 100 percent try to cheat with that 100 percent, they will try to cheat you with it that also comes out in defense people will also 100 percent try to cheat you with this um fenrir effect of search search chila make cash tiro Overlay, make Mind Hacker, Mind Hacker effect, rip from their extra deck, and then effect, make them banish four face down, and then we can summon, uh, we're gonna, we'll effect, you know, lock zones, boop boop, and then after that, we're gonna set and pass. I was gonna say we could put a Rise Heart on top of this if we wanted to. Pass, they draw Sphere Mode, effect during standby phase, go bring out Fenrir, Sphere Mode, still standby bro, Dweller, sure. Okay, so Sphere Mode, I mean, that was, I mean, it's like fair enough. This deck plays like Lava Golem Sphere Mode. Activate Tier Limit, Cash Tier, uh, Banish Fenrir, Summon, Effect, Go Mill, and that mills Havnus, Crime. Uh, so we will be able to get those effects. We did banish our own Shaylin earlier on. They're going to Ball Drake to go ahead and stop Havnus. The opponent knew that we already had that because we had that last turn. They used Medora to save the Kikalos. Branded Fusion, go dump, dump Lubellion, Fawn of Albaz. Depending on what they play, because they... Mm, I, don't, I don't know. They have to play 2-Kit. They have to play 2-Kit. I don't even care if you're playing this build. I think you just have to. Otherwise, they just rip it. And that hurts. Summon out Albion. Albion effects. So maybe you just let Kit go. So that way they get to summon Baldrake. Um, they're going to activate Albion Effect, Chain Keldo to interrupt. Now, they do have to resolve, if possible, which it is possible here, most likely, depending on what they play in their extra deck. Okay, so they're going to banish to go summon out a Garua. Alright, that checks out. I was going to say, uh, worst case scenario, they have to go for a Dragos to Paleo. And then, um, I guess... That was also just done wrong, though, because what should have been done there is Albion Chainlink 1, Birth Chainlink 2, because the last Chain of Brain Infusion was activated, so Birth could go ahead and target a bunch of cards in their graveyard to banish them face down, and then you could chain Keldo, and you actually force your opponent to make a Dragos to Paleo or something weird. Or, you know, I mean, I guess just also make Garuda with these, but... Uh, you probably just make Drago. Soul Look Negate, Tier Limit, Cash Tira, Mill, Mills Caldo. And then Albion, Beat Over Dwellers, Set, Pash, Draw Havna, Standby Phase, Effect to Go Special, Mercarier, Negate that. And then, I mean, they have Birth. Uh, they're going to go Shaylin, Discard Havna, Summon Mill 3. The opponent admits defeat. Moving on to the next game now. We're going to go ahead and we are going to see Branded go first. Opening hands. We have Unicorn, Rhino, Planet, Keldo, Havnus. They have Sornir, Druish, Judgment, Branded Lost, and Dramaturge. They're going to go set Judgment Pass. Sadly, they've bricked. And honestly, this is not completely game yet, but I mean, it pretty much is. Effect, go search Birth. Activate Prime Planet. Prime Planet, did you add field? Not yet. Was waiting for okay. Oh, I think they were asking, like, did you add that off of Unicorn? Uh, they're going to search. Activate the regular planet now. Planet goes search Shaylin. Yup. How it is. Instant. I mean, nah. Shaylin. Summon discard Keldo. Mill 3. Uh, mill Shaylin and Medora. Activate Shaylin effect. Chain Druid Swarm. Banish the summon. Now Unicorn effect. Rip from your extra deck. Um, okay, decided to not go ahead and rip from their extra deck there, which is very interesting. Dump Havnus, activate Havnus effect, chain Sornir, 
So then they're going to chain Medora to keep Sornir from coming onto the field. Pull back a bunch of random cards there too. Uh, Planet Pop Judgment still didn't use Unicorn Effect. Overlay for Abyss Dweller. Activate Abyss Dweller Effect. And then they're going to activate Tier Limit Cash Tiro. Banish Shaylin. Summon Effect to go Mill 3. Mills Murley. Fenrir. Um, yeah, and that's just like overly game. Uh, Fenrir is a good mill to there too, because you could birth summon back. You just birth summon back Fenrir your battle phase, and that's already a game. Um, but GG's, GG's. We're going to go ahead and see the tier limit cash tier player win. Oh, okay, yeah, keep keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Yes, yeah, Kekalos, tag out, go mill. Uh, two level seven, Shangri La, birth summon out Fenrir. Fenrir, go search Rise Heart. Summon Rise Heart, banish Unicorn, lock a zone, overlay Mind Hacker, lock two zones. Overlay for a rise heart attack summon Zeus on top. Okay. Okay um, And then this would have another material under it too because we beat over Druus worm and then we get to attach because something is banished um, Honestly, there's probably like a different way to do that mm, Yeah but it okay, whatever. Um, we're gonna see that the match is about 32 minutes long. We are going to see Tira Cash Tira beat the branded deck, which isn't too surprising. I don't think the branded deck's gonna be a real deck for the time being. Um, it just has a lot of problems, like a lot of problems. I think in the future though, it could be a way better deck. Um, I mean, the deck just has to change completely from how it's being played now at the minimum. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.